Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Quad Basile. And today we are doing another mod to the Silverado. Um, this one is going to be pretty interesting. I've seen some pictures online and uh, I kind of like the way it looks, but maybe it'll match these LEDs right there up on the top there. So <clears throat> what we're doing today is we are actually taking the instrument panel out and we are replacing the halogen backlight bulbs on there. But anyways, this is what they look like. Pretty simple, honestly. It's two different parts. You got the blue LEDs here, and then you got the connectors that screw onto the back of the circuit board on it. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm at the dash here. What first step you're gonna wanna do is take the surrounding uh, shroud out of here. So what you'll do is we'll just stick the key in the ignition, turn the ignition on, drop it all the way down in the first, and you're able to pull the pins out and slide it out. And then um, what I'll do is I'll put the shifter back up, take the key out, and then there are four, four bolts that hold this. The first one is at the top corner here by your voltage meter. And then the second one is right below that, right at your temp gauge. And the third one is gonna be on the opposite side near your message center. And then the fourth one is gonna be right below um, if you have different models, I believe you'll have your transmission gauge right there, but this one does not have one. So, all right. So now that, um, I've told you where those are, these bolts or screws, whatever are seven millimeters. So you'll need a seven millimeter. I'm going to make this easy on myself. And I grabbed a extension here and I'm going to hook it up to the cordless right there, take them out. And then, um, I will show you how this thing slides out. Okay. So I got all four screws taken out. I dropped the shifter all the way down in the first, and then now you should be able just to grab this and then slide it out. And then since I only got one hand, there is um, a cable harness right behind the center, right uh, by the 50. Um, just disconnect that and then just slide it out. And then I will show you how to replace the lights on the back. Okay, as you can tell, the instrument panel is out and it is sitting right here. Now what you're going to do is we're going to want to get to this back area here. So you have to pop each of these pins off. There's quite a bit of them to pull this black cover off. And you can tell this is where the lights are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alrighty, so there are our lights. We got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to, all you got to do is twist these like that. And then there's your bulb right there. All right, the moment of truth. I just have it sitting in there right now. Let's see how many are going to work. All right, so it looks like it's just, maybe it's just the one. Um, so that means the rest of them gotta be switched in order to work. So I will switch those and um, we will see what it looks like. All righty, so I just switched, I just unscrewed it from the back Flipped it 180 and screwed it back on. Now let's see if they all work. Look at that, that's beautiful. Now I'm going to take it out one more time and then stick that black cover back on, slide it back in there, screw it down. Okay, so I finally got it screwed in there. I got the top screw, bottom screw, top screw and the bottom screw down there. Um, oh yeah, if you haven't noticed, it's quite dark in here. I put stuff on the windows so that way I can see. Um, but now all you got to do is put that shroud back on and then, uh, we are all set. That is finally done. I wish I was able to get this guy blue, but nothing I could do about that. It's a circuit board. So, but other than that, I'm keeping the check engine and all that, the right lights, because you do want those to be the colors that they are. But yeah, I'm going to put that shroud back on and then, um, I will talk to you guys right after that. So there it is, it is all finished. And in broad daylight, you can still see those LEDs. Those old halogens, I wouldn't even be able to see anything. Now I can even turn off the lights. That's what you'd see with the old halogens. But uh, there is it with them on. So um, yeah, I really enjoy it. I cannot wait to see what it looks like at night. So let's run the overnight footage.
gentlemen, that concludes the instrument panel blue light conversion. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Um, looks great, man. I really, uh, it's really nice because there's it's not overly bright, so it's not blinding you going down the road, but it is bright enough where uh, you could tell they're LEDs, so I'm happy with that. But anyways, that's the end of this video. Um, please give this video a like and subscribe to Quad Boss Elite. And by the way, this is the last Silverado video I will do for this year. Um, next video, we'll kind of just go over what happened in 2020 for us, and then uh, we'll we'll pick you guys up in January which will be the start of more mods for the Silverado. And trust me, guys, they're going to be good. So uh, stay tuned for that. 200 subscriber special will also be happening in January. I have not gotten the... I did order them. They're on the way here. So uh, stay tuned for that as well. That's going to be happening in January. Whole lineup of mods coming out, guys. So stay tuned for that. And we will catch you for the last video of 2020. See you later.